Welcome back to eSIM Studios, and thank you for joining us today. Now, for the Nothing Phone 3A lovers and users and people just interested in the phone, I'm going to continue to create, record, and upload content, but I had to get to some Pixel news today, so could not wait any longer. There's a lot of anticipation surrounding the upcoming Google Pixel 10 series, it's definitely been met with some skepticism and at the heart of this lack of enthusiasm lies the rumors surrounding the Google Tensor G5 CPU. Let's be honest, right? This next iteration of Google's custom design chip is poised to redefine the smartphone experience, blending cutting edge AI with seamless performance. That's right. I said redefine. Now, bear with me. Let me explain. So here's a glimpse into what we can expect. The Google Tensor G5 will be a leap forward in some people's eyes. Uh, it's going to have obviously AI driven excellence, right? So the Tensor series has always emphasized AI and the G5 is expected to amplify this focus. Imagine even more redefined on device AI processing enabling features like real-time language translation, advanced imaging processing, and highly personalized user experiences. Expect to see enhancements in computational photography, allowing for even more stunning images and videos, particularly in challenging lighting conditions. The video boost mode and night sight video are said to be processed on device now with the Pixel 10. No more waiting for hours on end while the video gets boosted in Google servers. Pain in the ass. Now, a shift to TSMC manufacturing for the G5 means improved power efficiency and slight performance gains, which we will get to shortly. Uh, users of this Pixel 10 can expect longer battery life, smoother, more responsive operation. The Pixel 10 series is anticipated to handle demanding tasks such as gaming and video editing with remarkable ease. So what do the recent renderings of the Google Pixel 10 series tell us? Well, we get a refined experience, design superiority. While maintaining the signature Pixel aesthetic, the Google Pixel 10 series is expected to feature little to no refinements in design. Reports show that the camera bar remains, but no major changes to the phone's overall dimensions are to be expected. And that is okay. That's perfectly fine. The Pixel 9 series just won Smartphone of the Year Award, along with Best Smartphone Design, as well as Breakthrough Device Innovation Award for Gemini at uh, Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Now, I must admit, out of all the smartphones I have in studio, it is the absolute best looking piece of technology I lay eyes on. Keeping this iconic look, design, and feel is absolutely fine with me. I wouldn't mind staring at it for another year or two, quite honestly. While, well, why fix something if it isn't broken, right? iPhone has had roughly the same design for like six years now, right? So, so it's okay for Google to sit on this pixel design for two years, right? It's perfectly fine with me. I don't want to hear any complaints about that. The only noticeable design change that is being reported is that the base model, the Pixel 10, will now have a triple rear camera setup, bringing it more in line with the Pro models. It might get overlooked by some, but that's a huge, huge improvement. Now, Pixel phones are renowned for their exceptional cameras, and the Pixel 10 is poised to raise the bar even higher. The combination of improved hardware and the Tensor G5 computational phot photography power will likely result in breathtaking image quality. Hard to imagine it getting even better than it is already, right? The leaked performance shows minor improvements over the previous version, right? The Tensor G4 and the Pixel 9 series. So this new Pixel 10 G5 Tensor chip has scored just under 2,000 in the single core. I believe it's rated at 1903 single core. And on the multi-core, we've scored just under 4,500 points in the multi-score. This is with Geekbench 6 benchmark scores. 1903 single core, 
4419 multi-core. The CPU has never really honestly been a concern of mine. Uh, my Pixel is just as fast and as smooth as any other of my devices. So as long as we're showing minor improvements, I'm okay with that, honestly. My main concern, however, is the GPU. Uh, I'm not a gamer, but I constantly use my Pixel for shooting pictures, videos, and then editing that content, right, uh, for the channel on the device. If anyone has edited videos before on a Pixel, it's less than flattering, right? <laughs> I experience slight lag, choppiness, and uh, from time to time, audio and video sync issues, right, when editing videos. Uh, it looks like this Pixel 10 is about to solve all of my video editing woes. And I am super pumped about that. It's not the CPU that's going to get the big upgrade. It's the GPU. The Tensor G5 is expected to use a dual core imagination technologies DXT48-1536 GPU clocked at 1.1 gigahertz instead of using the ARM Mali G715 GPU used in the Tensor G4 from last year. This imagination technologies DXT GPU is expected to achieve 1.69 teflops when redlining at 1.1 gigahertz. So this new GPU is said to offer big, big time performance gains, potentially up to 60% improvement over the Tensor G4 Mali GPU. So big, in fact, that it will now support level four ray tracing for enhanced light, shadow, and reflection effects, which is perfect for, you guessed it, video editing and gaming. Other features include improved virtualization, better machine learning, better power efficiency, variable rate shading, and ASTC texture compression with HDR. All this leads to improved AI processing as well. The move to TSMC's three nanometer process is expected to significantly boost AI processing speeds and efficiency. Now, Pixel 10, is anticipated to debut with new AI features. So what are those new AI features? Well, first one's called Pixel Sense, which is an AI assistant for real-time suggestions and proactive assistance on device. It can operate without the internet, right? Everything's gonna be on device. Well, not everything, but most everything is gonna be on device now, which is a huge, huge improvement. The next feature is something called Speak to Tweak. It's a voice-based photo and video editing. How cool is that? Next up, Sketch to Image, which is an AI-generated artwork. I know that comes on uh, the Samsung S25 series, S25 Ultra, I think OnePlus 13, or uh, uh, iPhone 16 Pro Mac. I don't use that. Maybe y'all do, but I don't. But this new Pixel 10 is supposed to come with a new Sketch to Image feature. It's also going to come with Magic Mirror. A currently unknown feature, I'm sure you can get your guesses as good as mine. I don't know what the hell that is, but Magic Mirror will be one of the AI features. It will now finally get raised to UFS 4.0 storage. And it will have DisplayPort version 1.4 available. We know Google is working on a desktop mode. Um, and it should be introduced with this new Pixel 10. So the new desktop mode will be a Samsung DeX-like feature that has me very excited. And the improvement with that GPU is definitely going to help out with this new Samsung DeX-like desktop mode. Now, I know the haters got concerns. The haters are going to hate. I'm used to it by now, right? One could say that despite the improvements... The Tensor G5 might still be an underwhelming performer compared to its competitors. And sure, right? It's not going to win a benchmark competition. We all know this by now. Pixel showcases and sets the benchmark for mobile photography and the best all-round Android experience. It is just as fast, 
just as buttery smooth and snappy as any other phone I have in the studio. So real world usability is on par, honestly, with all other flagship devices. And now we know that gameplay, video editing, will see a, the biggest improvement with this upcoming generation. It's music to my ears. They're checking off one of the last few boxes remaining. In fact, dare I say this it might be the closest thing we have to a perfect phone. I know, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Uh, we'll hold judgment until it gets released. Now, the official release of the Google Pixel 10 is expected to be introduced around mid-August, right? So uh, probably, what, about five months or so? Anyways, mid-August 2025, we will be waiting in anticipation. If you are a Pixel fan or just simply love technology... You have found the perfect YouTube channel. eSIM Studios is the home of everything mobile technology. Please subscribe to eSIM Studios' YouTube channel so you get notified when we publish more Pixel news. Please take care. Have a great rest of the day. And always, I will see you tomorrow. Peace.